High school students are constantly under enormous pressure. The pressure to excel in everything from academics to sports and to yes fitting in. The pressure to also live life at the same time without letting those school grades slip. Sometimes it can all be too much for a teenager to handle, which is why many struggle with mental health issues. But some welcome news is on the horizon. The government of Taiwan has come up with a way to address the mental health crisis among high school students. They'll soon be rolling out a plan to implement mental health leave for students. Our next report explains. Performing well academically, exceeding in extracurriculars, outperforming your peers, meeting your parents' expectations, appearing and excelling in semester exams, and getting the perfect grades to enter top universities. The life of a high school student isn't easy, and certainly not as rosy as depicted in pop culture. There's constant pressure, mentally, emotionally and physically, that only keeps increasing day by day, semester on semester. The stakes are always impossibly high for young minds, and any misstep could spell disaster. With so much happening at once, it's no wonder that many students are battling mental health issues. And in Taiwan, the situation is even more dire. A severe mental health crisis is gripping the student population. The rate of suicides have doubled from 2014 to 2022, and students are reporting to experience high levels of stress and depression. But the Taiwan government has finally decided to act. They've realized that their student population needs help, and they're ready to offer it. The government is introducing mental health leave for its students. Several high schools will be offering their students to avail a mental health leave. About 40 schools have shown interest to participate in the trial run. This program allows students to take up to three days of leave. They can get these days off every semester, but with their parents' consent. The leave can be taken as half or full days. It's a response to the alarming rise in mental health concerns among Taiwanese school-going students. Taiwan is recording a steep rise in mental health concerns among their students. A survey in 2022 found that over 12% of senior high school students reported severe stress, and a quarter of them had experienced severe depression. The top three stressors were schoolwork, future prospects, and interpersonal relationships. Experts are lauding Taiwan's pilot project. They say this will help destigmatize mental health conversations in schools. The time off could also allow students to rest and cope with their feelings. And it could also encourage students to seek professional help. However, some students are hesitant. Some feel that many will just stay at home to study more. They worry that their peers will see them as mentally ill or psychologically unstable if they take mental health leave. Others fear that their parents won't understand. While the school program is in its initial stages, many universities in Taiwan are already offering similar schemes. Educational institutes offer five days of mental health leave to their students. It allows the students to take off from their university routine who are unable to attend due to psychological problems. It's a step in the right direction but there's still work to be done to ensure that students feel supported and understood. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.